What is good, everybody? It is Ross. Um, we are going to uh, talk about this Kendrick Lamar uh, interview with Bazaar. Um, actually, before before I get into it, I just want to thank everybody who has liked and subscribed so far. Really appreciate it. It helps the algorithm. It really does. Um, you know, I've been still growing in this YouTube space. And yeah, I, I'm realizing like the more I post, the more I just put myself out there. Um, YouTube really gives back. And that's because of y'all, though. That's because you guys like it, because you guys subscribe, you guys share it. Um, you guys comment, even people who comment and disagree. Like, I appreciate y'all. So, uh, so anyway, this interview is with Bazaar. Um, I never heard them before, but they seem pretty legit, um, especially, uh, you know, to, to get the opportunity uh, to interview Kendrick. Kendrick's not really known to be out and about, like, getting interviewed by everybody. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, these people are pretty uh, trusted, I'm assuming, you know, some kind of good relationship. Kendrick Lamar's inner drive. The artist has consistently pushed hip hop to new heights in advance of his Super Bowl performance. He gets personal with friend and collaborator SZA. Um, so I'm not going to read this whole thing. This is actually a pretty long uh, interview, which is great. I think I'll read this like on my own time, but I definitely... Um, I feel like everything Kendrick does is strategic. And I know that's kind of cliche. Everyone thinks that. Like, and he just probably just. But, you know, to to say yes to this interview um, from these people, you know, maybe he knew that they weren't going to try to make him sound crazy, you know, or like looking for a click or an extra sound bite. Um, and then I like how there's no video of this. It's just like kind of written down, which is cool, too. I, I've always liked those kind of interviews to be honest i don't know why but uh i'm assuming SZA is going to be one of the performers at the super bowl um so not exactly sure why SZA is on here but uh anyway i'm just going to kind of go straight down to the nitty-gritty here where uh yeah they kind of get right into it um so uh the interviewer says can i ask you a hyper masculine question uh you can also tell me to shut the fuck up what does not like us mean to you? And Kendrick Lamar's laughing, probably has a smirk on his face. Not like us. Not like us is the energy of who I am, the type of man I represent. Now, if you identify with the man that I represent, and then the interview goes on, break that, break, break that man down for me. Break the man down for me. Uh, this man has morals. He has values. He believes in something. He stands on something. He's not pandering. He's a man who can recognize his mistakes and not be afraid to share the mistakes and can dig deep down into fear-based ideologies or experiences to be able to express them without feeling like he's less of a man. If I'm thinking of not like us, I'm thinking of me and whoever identifies with that. Now, can I say something else in that realm or you want me to get away from that? Can I ask you something else? And Kendrick Lamar says, is it mean? No, it's more so like I thought it was really interesting that there was any consensus at all that you might be an angry individual. For me, I don't find that any energy that comes from you comes from an angry place. And actually, the last hour and change pretty much solidifies that. It's almost from a yogic, monk-like place. So when you feel the surge of energy in records like that, where is that root? Is it anger? And Kendrick Lamar says, I don't believe I'm an angry person, but I do believe in love and war. And I believe they both need to exist. And my awareness of that allows me to react to things, but not identify with them as who I am. Just allowing them to exist and allowing them to flow through me. That's what I believe. And then the interviewer says, I'm going to quit while I'm ahead before I say something crazy. And I think that's probably it when it comes to the not like us. Um, so I think this is a very interesting angle that Kendrick Lamar kind of put himself in, you know, like to really not even mention Drake. It still feels like a dig at Drake at the same time, you know, because we all know what the song's about. Like, it's the most obvious song. I would understand if if maybe they brought up Euphoria. I mean, honestly, none of these, none of the, 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 the diss tracks, like you can really try to come at a different angle oh this is about myself growth and this like you know try to play from no this you're talking about a specific person that you that you don't like um and 
uh, and you want to emphasize that this person is also not like us, not like me. And um, yeah, you know, I don't know how to feel about it because I mean, I get it. Kendrick Lamar is like the ultimate troll, uh, you know, him kind of laughing and saying not like us is the energy of who I am, the type of man I represent. Um, can you guys see this? OK, cool. You know, the type of man that I represent. Uh, now, if you identify with the man and he breaks it down, this man has morals, he has values, he believes in something, he stands on something, he's not pandering. I mean, yeah, I feel like we we all know he's trolling, right? Like we all can agree, everyone in this room, everyone on this watching this video, we know that he's trolling. I think that he's just trying to make it not as heavy uh, because he's he's planning on performing it at the Super Bowl, you know? Uh, I feel like if he wasn't planning on performing at the Super Bowl, he probably wouldn't even, he probably would have just kept it light. He would have been like, nah, I don't feel like talking about it. Or like, what is there to talk about? It's pretty obvious. You know, there's people out there who prey on the dreams of up and coming people. Uh, actors and actresses and uh models and whatever and they take advantage of them you know they they prey on them and take advantage of them and i don't move like that that's the kind of man that i, I mean he could have said something that's like directly about you know the accusations that he is putting you know he's placing uh on drake but he doesn't he kind of just talks about you know, someone who stands on morals and values. And I'm, you know, he's not lying at the same time. He's pretty much saying these people that Drake is associated with and Drake himself, we're not like, you know. And um, I think when the moment came, when the moment, you know, was presented to us, not like us was an L.A. California hit, you know, with a DJ mustard beat. And really that energy was like a black american spirit you know um as we know in euphoria he he really he really digs at drake's um insecurity about his blackness uh and then also you know in the not like us you know he's telling drake you know that he's a colonizer you know that he really doesn't respect black american culture he's you know a colonist he comes there comes to atlanta when he needs a hit uh, you know, and he uses uh, 21 Savage, he uses 2 Chains, he used all these people to really get on top. Uh, and and in, he's saying that he is an outsider, he's a fan, you know, also a fan. Also, we also know what the other meaning of fan is, um, which is probably true for Drake, but also like the fact that he's Canadian, he's not, he's not from America, he's not, um, I mean, so Drake is half ADOS. He's half American descent of slavery and half white, Jewish. And, um, but like culturally, he's not that. He's Canadian. You know, he's, he probably grew up from a white Jewish experience with his mother and whatever that life looks like. It's not like how Kendrick uh, grew up. So, um, and I think that's the whole reason why, you know, from the music video to just the vibe of the song that Kendrick brought it back home. He brought it back to L.A. and really just finished him, you know, uh, with with this song, Not Like Us. And, you know, that energy is what really blew the song up. So I guess personally, I would have liked him to really kind of really break down like the differences of ethnicity you know and like the significance of celebrating that and so that's how i viewed it and i really feel like that's where he was coming from of course he's not going to say that i don't know if you ever will but a lot of us you know a lot of black americans we're like they're not like us we we're kind of like you know every, anyone who's not black american who's not ados like y'all are not like us you know what i mean like y'all are not us and that's okay you know we uh, we move the culture, you know, from all around the world. We got K-pop stars and J-pop stars and 
um, all these different people, uh, UK hip hop, all these people, France rap. I mean, we inspire so many people. Um, and I think it was a moment for us to kind of be like, yeah, now it's turned into something else. It's turned now Kendrick, you know, has really made it about everyone. And now he's even kind of turning it into something else, but not at the same time. Again, like I'm not tripping about it. All I know is that I would have liked him to kind of maybe said something else. Like, you know, it's really about culture. Not like us is about culture. Like, I really wish he would have said something like that, you know, and then how in this culture we, we do our best to, to, to really um, vilify the predators that might be lurking in there. You know, something dope like that. That's what I would think, you know, but he might have even wanted to just keep it more vague just for the Super Bowl. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, you know, uh, this part here where he talks about, um, you know, he's not an angry person. I, I really, I do believe that, you know, I, I really don't think he was, I think he was, he wanted to put Drake in his place, you know, like really wake Drake up and then wake everyone else up around Drake who believes in this fantasy that Drake has created that Drake is like this untouchable um you know and and no one can call him out because he's so big he's bigger than life and Kendrick just brought him right back down to reality uh and um yeah I think I really don't think you know like that line where you know Kendrick was saying you know I hate the way the I hate the way that you walk the way that you talk I hate the way that you dress I hate the way that you sneak this if, if if you ca if we catch flight if I catch flights it's gonna be direct or something he said like people really took that to heart like man he really hates this man like what kind of like I need to harness that kind of hate you know like for my boss or whatever it is but I really don't think you know Kendrick especially after listening to uh meet the grams it really just it was kind of like strict compassion you know honestly like where he is trying to help Drake before it's too late before before Drake cuz Drake is going down the lane if from what i'm assuming Drake is going down you know the diddy route he's going down the diddy route hey <laughs> Hey, sleepy girl. My daughter's up. But, uh, you know, Drake is going down that route, like where P. Diddy, you know, is is now about to be in prison for life. You know what I mean? Like, Drake is going down that route. And Kendrick is maybe seeing, like, hey, like, there's still hope for you, but you got to come back to reality. You know, I think that's why a lot of these people, a lot of these evil people, um, you know, they do what they do because they feel like they're untouchable and no one challenges them. And so Kendrick is the one challenging him. And, you know, who knows? Maybe Kendrick saved Drake. <laughs> like there might be a, 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 like a movie plot with that, you know, like where you're saving your enemy, you know, like you're saving your enemy for becoming worse, you know, like who knows what, what, uh, the universe has in store, you know, for Drake and Kendrick. But, um, I guarantee you Drake did not have this on his bingo card list, <laughs> uh, you know, um, when he dropped that song, whatever, the Super Bowl song that he dropped. And he did not expect this to be his 2024. Let's just say that. And I think that's going to make Drake move different, maybe act different, maybe seek counseling um, or, or or therapy. I mean, but but it might not either. He might like double down, you know, but. Uh, at the end of the day, it's going to get people like me and a lot of people who are going to look at him suspicious to not like listen to him or care what he's got to say anymore, especially if these things come true, especially like about the daughter and then all these people that, you know, he's saying exist, you know, that have been abused by Drake and all that kind of stuff. You know, it's crazy. Sir John. Hey. You hungry? Tabadoo? Um, but yeah, I think, I think that's it that I want to say, you know, um, you know, his comment about, I, I believe in love and war. I believe that I, I believe they both, <laughs> she's such a, she's sleepy still. You're still sleepy. Oh, my God. Uh, 
I don't, you know, he says, I, I, I don't, I believe that they both need to exist. And my awareness of that allows me to react to things, but not identify with them as who I am. My awareness of that allows me to react to things, but not identify with them as who I am. Just allowing them to exist and allowing them to flow through me. That's what I believe. I don't know what kind of stuff that is. I, don't, I really don't know what that is. Um, it, you know, <laughs> like Kendrick might be one of those people that like, and I have some friends that talk like this where they just kind of say stuff and it sounds like really spiritual and deep, but it really makes no sense. Uh, or maybe they're just like so above me in my pay grade. Like I'm, I'm just not even going to process it that react to things, but not identify but not identify with them as who I am. And, you know, so I, I guess, you know, he's just talking about how humans have this animal like nature, love and war. And he recognizes that it exists. But he doesn't identify with this animal that we all humans have. Uh, and he's just allowing it to exist and allowing them to flow through through. So pretty much he was in it was like fight or flight mode, like. It was time for fight. It's time for love. Um, maybe I nailed it. Maybe I nailed it right there. I don't know. Maybe I really did. Uh, but to me, that was kind of like, I feel like could have broke that down a little bit better. But, you know, Kendrick is very cryptic like that, too. So it is what it is. You know what I mean? It sounded like he wrote, that's like a verse. That's a poem right there that he just said, you know, to identify with them as who I am. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, this is Kendrick, though. Uh, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how the Super Bowl is going to go for him. Um, you know, and, uh, hey, uh, you know, um, I'm looking forward to, uh, seeing what, what's in store for Kendrick, but we all know that he's trolling. I think we all can agree he's trolling. Uh, <laughs> so we all can agree that he's trolling. Um, uh, if he ever watches this. And he'll agree with me. Then, uh, this, then, um, then we won. We won, y'all. We won. No, but uh, I appreciate you guys for uh, checking this video out. Just taking your time. Um, make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps the numbers. It really does. Like I said. So, um, yeah, uh, I think we're at 70, 40, 742 or forty three subscribers. My goal is to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of this year. Um, so let's let's hit eight hundred. Like, what's this? October. Let's. It's October twenty six. Let's hit let's hit um 800 uh by the end of November. That'd be dope. That actually be dope. By November 800, and then by the December 900, and then by January 1000 would be lit. So anyway, appreciate y'all. Even if you like this a little bit, just like it, subscribe to it. I'm gonna do better. I'm really trying to figure out this space for myself. I also have a second channel that I'm like doing other stuff with, but this is really I'm gonna main. This is my main channel where I'm gonna talk about music culture things i really want to talk about um so anyway appreciate y'all peace